but you guys got another video here for you now this one's been requested quite a lot by a lot of different people and I've not really got around to doing it because loads of people have already done it already and I didn't want to sort of uh, go down that route but I've been forced to sort of do it really because there's so many people wanting me to make a video on it so as you can see the video is about uh, themes and visual styles and how we can spruce up our window system to you know give it a nice new feel a nice new look and as you can see here we've got a weather system going on here we've got all our gadgets and you can see it's the black theme I've changed all the icons here for the programs all the, uh, the actual menu systems been changed sound files have been changed icons everything's been changed inside here okay now I can't take full credit for all the actual makings of these themes and stuff like that because someone else has created all these all different people have created the icons and stuff like that and I will try to put the links in the description uh, with the credit to those people that have made those packages for them okay now there is different types of uh, themes that you can go for there's a dark theme you can have red themes blue themes you name it uh, but pretty much this is the the actual dark theme that we've gone for here and I will put the link in the description. All these are totally movable and uh, deletable if you want to delete them. Um, you can do what you like really. So what we're going to do is boot up into a new system. And I'll uh, show you roughly what you need to do to go about it. Now bearing in mind you want to make sure you back up all your system before you start. And also because we're going to be making changes to the uh, file structure of the Windows okay, operating system. So bear that in mind. It will take changes to the operating system. And if you want to correct that, you will need to use SFC scan now and stuff like that to put it all back to factory settings. So let's get started anyway. I'm going to reboot into a new system and we'll start from there. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have our files that we're going to be using for this changing of our Windows 7. You can see we've got a, a basic look to our Windows 7 system. Now there is a couple of steps we're going to take first. The first one is we are going to change the UAC to make sure we don't get pestered. And uh, we can put this back on afterwards. But we're going to turn this off for now. I'm going to come down to the bottom here and click OK. And that's now done. The next thing we need to do is run a patch. Now this is going to patch the actual... Uh, windows and change files okay and I will put the link in the description there's a couple of programs that do this but we're going to be using this one ultra UX theme patcher now bear in mind this does t change uh, critical files on the operating system so it's always good to make a backup of your system so clone the drive or back up your drive and also you can make registry backups and I'll show you how to quickly do that in case you don't know we can open up regedit like so and you just go to file and it export okay and that will export the whole of your registry okay so that's uh well, if we didn't like this afterwards what you can do is open up command prompt and i'll show you how to do that quickly you just type cmd in there right click on this and run as administrator and type sfc and then space forward slash scan now like so and you'd run that and that will correct all the files that will check all the integrity of all your uh, windows files and it will find all the ones that are different to the ones that should be on there and download new ones and install them okay that's in case you want to put it back to factory settings or factory defaults so let's start by uh, running this program i'm going to run this as administrator just going to quickly agree to all this and run this you can see it patching here it needs to reboot now so we're going to just quickly reboot the system okay so now we're back at the desktop now that's been patched and rebooted the next thing we want to do is take ownership we want to get an ownership in case we need that to take ownership of files okay so I'm going to uh, click on this and say yes now take ownership you can get from Windows 7 forums pretty straightforward and you can undo that if you wish but it's a very good tool to have so we're gonna delete that we don't need that anymore 
and we don't need the patch at all anymore so we can get rid of that so we don't get confused and the next thing we need to do is to install our theme and uh, we're going to be doing the silver uh, spirit done by design f jotten it's a, a nice theme i like it so i'm just going to drag these onto my desktop here and these are the files that we've got now he has put an help file inside here um, and I'll show you the location where you need to put these now you need to put these let me just find the location right there windows resources and themes that is the location you need to put this theme okay and it's a pretty nice and simple theme to use because it does it all in one fell swoop you can use programs like Windows Theme Installer that's another program you can use I'll just quickly show you this in case you've got a different type theme and you can use programs like this that will install the theme change the explorer.exe and also these other file types here okay and you can restore back to defaults and also apply the theme and remove theme a great little program um, you can use to do all these themes okay so let's get on and put this into the themes location we're going to go to the windows resources and themes open this up and we're going to copy these files inside here as a matter of fact I don't need that file there so we can get rid of that and once we've done that we can now remove these files we don't need those anymore and get rid of that as well that's that now done so what we need to do here now is go to personalize right click on the desktop and you'll see it here okay and if you put the sound on you'll hear some sound uh, files going <laughs> Uh, it's just it's got a load of files and sound files in there as well but i'm going to turn this off now so you won't hear no more sounds but basically uh it does shut down sounds and stuff like that you can uh, change all that stuff so i'm going to close this off now you can see it's already changed the appearance so i'm going to change this background here so i'm going to be using uh this background so I'm just going to change that we don't need that anymore okay so what I want to do next is change the actual all button the start button as you can see here it's normal so we're going to be using another file here which you can download and I will put the links for these files in the description and credit goes to all these people that created all these files and what I'm going to do here, we're just going to go into our, um, you can see here, we don't need Service Pack 1 version, I just need the uh, this version here. So I'm going to be using the Windows Theme Installer here, I'm going to right click and run this as Administrator. Close it off at the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is point to point to that file. There it is. There, click open and install. And there you go. That's the button now installed. Nice and simple. And you can do other stuff as well if you wish, but we only needed that file. Close that off. So now we're getting somewhere. You can see it looking uh, pretty good. So we can now delete this. Don't need that anymore or that file. Let's have a little tidy up so we don't get confused. Now you can use programs to do icon packs, uh, icon packs like this program here. And this will replace all your icon packs if you wish. You can have red icon packs, blue, green, whatever you like, you can see here these, it will show you what it will look like um, we're going to go for the black look, we're going to go for the total black look here um, so let me just pull this out of the way and that we don't need the red 
as a matter of fact we can get rid of those but you'll see an idea the red will look something like this pretty cool uh, looking if you want to go for the red and black theme you can do but we're going for the uh, black look so let me get rid of those and these are the icons we're going to be using uh, we're going to go for some of these as you can see here so the way you do these you can see all these we've got loads of different types and that's why I've picked these ones because I like the total amount of icons you've got Skype this and that you've got loads of different types which will cover everything that you need now Chrome is down here you can see and the way we do that is we right click on the Chrome icon and then right click on this one and go properties and change icon now this is a lengthy process and it will take you a bit of time you need to browse go to the location now before I do this it's advisable to put these in an area uh, where you're not going to delete them because if you delete them you'll lose the path so if you're going to do that I would suggest you cut these and paste them into pictures or something like that so they just stay there because if you delete that folder all your icon pictures will go so let me just uh, do this again and we're going to change the icon and browse to my pictures here inside here you'll see chrome click open ok and apply and ok now don't worry it's not changed yet it will do I'm going to do the same thing it will change once we do the uh, rebuild the icon cache now I've got some system icons here as well which I've downloaded so we just need to find windows as you can see here I'm going to click open here ok apply and ok again uh, we can do Internet Explorer just giving one more example here just to show you roughly what you need to do pretty straightforward really now you don't have to use this color scheme you can use whatever one you like click OK 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 so let's uh, unpin that and we'll remove this from there and if we wanted to do uh, the let's just put my computer on the desktop as well to show you that show on desktop so if you want to change this and the recycle bin these are slightly different okay we need to do is you need to right click on your desktop personalize and then go to change desktop icons and then you can change all of these ones inside here full and empty so let's do the full bin change icon same thing just go to your pictures and where your icons are based and these are ones should be in the system folder come down and that's the full one just click apply here and then we're going to go into empty and do the empty version okay you can take more time and do a thorough job I'm just gonna do a couple of these and show you roughly what it should look like and we'll do the my computer one I'm not sure if it's in this one or the other one it's probably in the other one okay so there's computer click OK and OK apply and here we just go through uh, 
uh, pictures. As you can see, it's a pretty lengthy process, but the end result will look really sweet once it's all finished. Again, network, change icon. You get the general idea. It's not in this one, it's in the other one. There we go. And that one's done. So these are all done now, so we can uh, apply an OK these. As you can see, they're changing now, and these are all starting to change as you go. Now again, if you want to change this one on your desktop, you just right click on this one and change icon, same thing. You just go through and change it like so, so you make sure you've changed all the ones on your desktop and down here. And now we're starting to get somewhere. Now again, you just have to go through this. Um, you can change all these ones inside here as well. Same thing really, favorites, this, that and everything else. You just need to change that by right clicking properties and going to customize and uh, change the icon okay it's not in there actually it is actually not in there need to go into user accounts and I think you can change this one customize and change icon so you just need to go through and find where these locations are and change them like so and that will change that and then once you go inside here you can change these okay these are the ones so downloads um, customize change icon and so on and once you've done those let me just see if we've got this one here Okay, downloads. So it was just there just a second ago. There it is there. I'll click open and click OK. And you'll see that change like so. And you just have to go through the whole thing and then start changing them up, okay? okay so one more thing here we can now change this area here and we can if we want to I could get these icons all we need to do is right click on these again same thing change icon and you can uh, go through here and change the actual icon and look for say calculator and stuff like that okay and they will be uh, in there you just need to have a good look there's calc I can see click OK apply okay again um, if you want to do zip 7 zip we can do that too and uh, we just browse and look for a zip program you can see zip there like so and we can also do paint and uh, stuff like that so you can change all your icons and when it's done it will look absolutely awesome so you just go through paint and so on so you can see now we're starting to get somewhere it's all looking nice it's all starting to tie in and uh, we're getting all our icons done you just go ahead and spend a bit more time on that and you should be good to go now the next thing and the last thing we're going to do is the actual rain meter and this is going to give us all our little uh, little gadgets down the side here and we're going to install that quickly Uh, let me just cancel and run this as administrator just to install okay so we're gonna we'll run rain uh, meter here so now we've got our area here we can just slide these in recycle bin I don't want that on there you can set up your uh, rainy fire if you want, like so. 
and uh, right click on this skins layout elegant clock and so on if you want to do a light one you can set it up off the top here if you wish but you can set this up you get the ID you can set this up how you want and then you just right click on these go skins and uh, select what you want so you can put Google which is a definite real handy tool you can just search straight from here um, again I'll just try and do this as quickly as I can uh, network any really useful for to find out what's happening with your network how much upload and download you're using we're gonna call that one done so that's basically how you customize it it's pretty straightforward you can spend more time on it than what I did um, you can jiggle it around and get it all set up but that's basically how you can customize your Windows 7 and change your themes and visual styles okay so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and that will keep you up to date when I upload all my latest videos and also hit the like button guys that really helps me out and I'll sure see you in the next video so thanks again for watching and thanks for your support bye for now